All right, guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video here and talk about this crazy thing I got called a tap strap. Um, I've been looking for something, some way to have uh, hotkeys on Procreate, and there's not really a lot of ways to do it outside of a keyboard. I saw, you know, there's some um, like controllers and stuff that people program, but the problem with those is you can't customize the button layout, so you have to change the hotkeys within the program, and Procreate doesn't let you um, adjust those. Other programs like Art Studio do, or Clip Studio Paint also, um, but Procreate doesn't. So I was like, I need to find something that customizes, lets me customize shortcut keys, and uh, so I did a lot of digging, and I found this crazy thing. And, sorry, so it comes in this little case, it's like a charging case of your um, AirPods basically. So it has a battery in it and, um, it holds, I don't know how many charges I've used it for like three weeks now and I've only had to charge it once. So, um, when the actual strap runs low, you just put it in here and press this little button and it charges it up. So let's take a look here. This thing, I, I honestly like um, I can't paint without it at this point. I've only been using it a couple weeks. Um, so you just slide on your fingers and then make sure these are all kind of tight. Um, if they're loose, you'll get problems with it, like registering the tapping. But, all right, so then we'll turn on this. This thing here has like, it like vibrates and stuff sometimes too, um, to let you know if like you've done something like there's a couple different modes that can go into. So anyway, so I made my own shortcuts. I customized them all and it's insane. Like I'm like two handed gesturing stuff with procreate, which is, you know, just bananas. So, um, here's a painting I'm working on right now. And let's just I'll go through and kind of show you how I have it set up here. So you want to be really gentle with the tapping. You just tap it on the table really softly and it'll register. You don't, it's like you can just barely, barely touch it and it knows it. And it's better if you do it that way because that way you don't get, um, it'll kind of misread it if you're like really smacking your fingers on the, on the desk. So let's see. First thing I have is tap my pinky like that to get my color selector. If I do my thumb, I'm going to get uh, the brush up, and if I tap this one, middle finger, I got brushed down. Now, there's something with Procreate where the way this slider set up, I think it's some sort of like exponential scaling. So when you get down to the bottom, it just jumps kind of, which isn't the best, but that's nobody's fault. It's designed for touch and um, it works really well when you use your finger. But Procreate also has hotkeys right now. I think the default is like 5%, but there's another hotkey for like 10% decrease and I think a 1% also. So you can get around it. Um, for me, it's not that big of a deal because usually I'm like wanting to like scale it up really big to go in and like, you know, brush out like a huge thing. So, um, so yeah, check it. We got brush down, brush up, color wheel, it's the pinky. My layer panel is my ring finger, and my first finger. This gets a little weird. So, if you guys are used to Photoshop, uh, the Alt key, you know, it's like a, a modifier key, so you have to hold it. Um, you can't exactly hold stuff when you're just tapping your fingers. So the way they have it set up is you can um, add, they call it a hold um, in the map, and it's basically like a toggle switch. So um, if I want to pick a color, what I do is I tap with my finger, and then I get my color picker, and then I tap again, and then I'm back to the brush. So tap, tap, right, tap. Uh, brush is too big. We'll just go down a little. Okay. 
Um, the other cool thing, and this is this is really what sped up my workflow like immensely, is I have my um, selection tool or lasso, whatever you call it, set to uh, my middle two fingers, my middle and ring finger. And this is awesome because I can just click, make a selection, and then my brush key is my first finger and middle finger. So I tap that and boom, I can fill in that whole selection. And then when I'm done with my selection, I just tap my middle two fingers again and it unreleases it. Good to go. The other thing is if I do this, so I make this section more, make this selection. And then I do these two outside fingers, so my first finger and my pinky finger. Tap those, I get my transform tools. So in my mind, that makes sense, right? So I have middle for selection, outside to transform, because they're kind of the same sort of thing. Um, and then, like I said, these first two fingers are brush. These two fingers are eraser. So I'm trying to like group them, in my mind at least, like what sort of makes sense and what feels like pairs almost like matching pairs like brush and eraser are opposite like transform and selection are kind of related so i kind of tried to give them related shortcuts you can do whatever you want i'm just telling you like what i have found works for me and like i don't even think about it now it's been you know it took me a week probably to sort of undo my left hand movements in my head but you know like not having to go up here click this select something move over here and the thing is like that might not seem like a lot but i'm doing this hundreds and you know potentially like thousands of times in a painting where i just want to go in and do that okay because i want some clean edges and it makes it so much faster that would have taken me, you know, click this. Okay. You have to click it off, click it back on. Okay. And I'm just, I'm like all over the menu, I'm all over the iPad. And for a couple minutes, it's not a big deal, but after a few hours, you almost, it's, it starts to wear on you and you get like, I get wrist pain and stuff from it a little bit. So for me, that's insane. And the color picking, while it's an extra step to do the double sort of clicking, you know, it's not like once you kind of wrap your head around it, it kind of, it goes pretty fast and you, you it just becomes second nature. It's just like the gestures in Procreate where they become sort of, you know, embedded in your brain and you're not really thinking about it. This is the exact same way. So um i think that's it i don't think you know i think that's all the gestures i have for now oh the other thing i was going to say is um so they have like a they have a shift mode so if you're like typing you have like shift for like capital letters so you can do that by tapping uh your middle first finger and thumb and that will give you a separate set of commands you can tap your pinky ring and middle finger and that will move it to what they call switch mode, which gives you like an entirely different layout. So if you have like a ton of hotkeys, like let's say you want to use this on Photoshop, you don't have to use it on your iPad. You could set this up and pair it with your PC and you could use it in Photoshop and you know, you could have, I don't even know, 30 shortcuts set up probably. I don't even know. Cause you can have single fingers, right? You can have two fingers. So, these two, these two, these two, there's every combo of two fingers. There's every combo of three fingers and then four fingers. I think you, there's even a five finger one. A couple of them are taken up, like I said, by the, the switch menu and the shift menu, but most of them are open. And then on top of that, if that wasn't enough, you can double tap and triple tap stuff too. So, you know, the sky's the limit here and you can use it for literally any program. 
Um, you know, I do a lot of After Effects stuff, and my next my next goal I haven't done it yet is to set this up so that it all functions as hotkeys and After Effects for me. Um, and I'll probably do the same thing with Photoshop. I'll probably set it up for Art Studio Pro because I use that as well sometimes. Um, you know, it's just it's crazy how how much more fluid this makes my workflow. Um, yeah, I'm super happy I found it. And that's why I just wanted to share it with everybody. Um, you know, give it a shot. It's a little, I mean, it's not, it's kind of expensive compared to a keyboard. I think it's, it was like 130 bucks or 140 bucks or something. So compared to just a small Bluetooth keyboard, it's definitely more expensive, but it's so much more uh, versatile and fluid. And then, I mean, there's a whole another section of stuff. They have like a, you can do like air commands and like mouse gestures and stuff too. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening in this little guy and I don't know. I'm really happy. I found it. Um, I'm going to, I'll put a link to it in this YouTube video. Um, you know, check it out if you want. Also, I have a Patreon page if you're interested in, you know, this kind of stuff. I'm working on this for Patreon this month, actually. So, um, just rocking on some, this is for just some fan art I'm doing that is super fun, but you know, I give away tutorial videos every month and, uh, check it out. All right, guys. Um, if you get one of these, let me know, let me know what you think about it. Cause I think they're crazy. So, all right guys. Bye.